Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, there is a new version of Microsoft Edge rolling out. It was released late on Friday, August the 5th, and it's still rolling out, so some of you might not have it already. I got it today, actually. So go to your Edge browser, upper right corner, and the three horizontal dots. Go into Help and Feedback about Microsoft Edge. You'll be moving on to the new version, 104.0.1293.47. Uh, it has two features that are interesting. One of them is a new security feature that has been added. So you have increased security when you actually go to visit websites that you almost never visit. So what it does is it recognizes, for example, the uh, standard important websites that it knows it's safe but if you go on kind of you know unknown territory websites that it doesn't know or that you don't visit very often it will add a security feature um, using the just-in-time um, engine so it's kind of sandboxing websites that it's not sure how secure they are to lower the chances of you getting anything from the website, viruses, malware, and so on. So this is now activated with the basic functionality default uh, with Edge 104 now. The other thing that's kind of interesting, and I think that's a good idea, is the integration of the bookmarks uh, that you might have on Google Chrome without having Chrome installed. What that means is if you have used Google Chrome and you were actually um, using favorites or bookmarks, you were logged in with a Gmail account. Of course, the bookmarks sync to your Gmail account. When you install, when you actually run Edge for the first time and you want to actually import, what you could do is actually log on to your Gmail account and it will import, if you wish, the um, bookmarks that you had in Google Chrome, even if Chrome was not installed. It's in reality getting the Google Chrome um, bookmarks from the web. For the rest, security updates, security updates, and important security updates. Uh, the same security updates that applied to Google Chrome last week are applying to Edge. That means that there's uh, more than 20 flaws actually in here. So a lot of high severity security flaws. So even if you don't care about the new features, just for the safety, just update Edge. And even if you're not using Edge, if you're not using it, just make sure that you update because you never know when a link can sometimes open Edge rather than your favorite browser. So just to stay safe and stay secure on your computer. So Edge 104 is now here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.